know for a while now that the Galaxy S11 series is in for huge camera upgrades, not just iterative upgrades year over year, but a generational change. And at least in the Galaxy S11 Plus, according to Ice Universe, using a brand new big one over 1.3 inch camera sensor with 108 megapixels. To know more about this sensor, we actually have to look at a different brand, Xiaomi, who earlier this year released information regarding a brand new type of image sensor for smartphones with 108 megapixels. A never seen before type of camera sensor for smartphones. And of course, who made this sensor? Samsung. According to Ice Universe, the 108 megapixel sensor that Samsung made for Xiaomi for use in the CC9 Pro and the camera sensor going into the Galaxy S11 Plus are in fact different and they would be. Not many potential Samsung buyers would be happy buying a camera sensor that has first gone into what is a mid-range phone. According to Ice Universe, Samsung have made an even more refined, more expensive, higher quality and totally exclusive in-house version for their own flagship phones. With the Snapdragon 865 now capable of supporting up to 200 megapixel cameras and also capable of recording video in 8K, those 12 megapixel sensors are just not fit for purpose. Whereas the sensor made for Xiaomi is slightly cheaper and capable of 6K video recording, the more expensive exclusive version for Samsung will apparently be able to shoot video in 8K too. So it looks like very high megapixel cameras with pixel binning technology are the future in smartphone photography. So much so that again, the Ice Band has said that Apple have even requested prototype units from Samsung for testing. So about the camera setup on the Galaxy S11 Plus. For right now, the renders show the camera placement on the S11 Plus not following any of the usual rules of placing components inside smartphones. If you know anything about how smartphones are put together on the inside, as soon as you saw those renders, you would dismiss them as incorrect. Free space inside smartphones is literally zero, which is why you have the square camera units placed in a line or a series, either vertically or horizontally. Even with the enlarged camera unit design we've seen coming into phones, for example, the Honor V30, the actual camera units and lenses are still all placed in a series. Depth sensors, flash units, or auxiliary cameras placed to the side, again, in a lineup or a series. Coincidentally, much like we see in the S11 non plus version renders. Looking inside phones such as the CC9 Pro from Xiaomi that actually uses the same size sensor as is tipped to go into the S11 Plus, you can see that there is just zero extra space for the square camera units to put them in any other design other than a series or a lineup. In any case, Universe Ice is adamant that even though the CAD designs are correct, the placement of the lenses inside the camera unit is in fact incorrect. We will find out very soon as real devices are being tested right now. And as we get closer to the launch, there will be more and more real device leaks that we can have a look at. What we do know for sure though, is that the Snapdragon 865 to be released next year will be powering Samsung phones in more markets than ever before. Recent benchmark results show huge improvements overall in the scores, which means the S11 series will be getting the best, most powerful chipset ever used in the Android ecosystem and also getting the best image processing too. Subscribe for the latest tech news and everything to do with Samsung, the Galaxy S11 series. That's it for now. But I'll see you in the next one.